Hey y'all, this is Zach. Uh, tonight we're gonna make a fried rice recipe in the Instant Pot. Um, I know most of the time you see fried rice, you're using chicken or, or a little bit of pork, sometimes shrimp, but we're gonna make ours with bacon. Can't get wrong with bacon. So I'm gonna take about five slices of bacon. I'm gonna chop them into pieces. I'm gonna start browning those in my uh, Instant Pot first. Um, and while that's browning, I'm gonna cut up about four or five cloves of garlic, a medium white onion. Um, I've got some, some frozen peas. Got some white rice, and I got some chicken stock, and two eggs. I'm gonna scramble those in this pot too, and some soy sauce, and that's it. That's all we're gonna use. It's gonna be really good. So, we'll see you on a few. All right, so I browned my bacon for about five minutes, and just before I took it off, I canceled the saute function because I want that grease to cool down just a little bit. So I'm gonna turn the saute function back on, and I've got two eggs that I've broken up. I'm gonna put that down in that grease. Animal scramble, just like you would make scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna get those good scrambled down to that bacon grease. And then I'm gonna take those out and put them with the bacon. So let me get that done and we'll be back. So I scrambled my eggs for a few minutes and took them out. All right. Got a tablespoon of butter. And I've got my chopped onions uh, cut up. They're gonna go in there for about eight minutes. All right, the last minute though, as I'm sauteing them, I'm gonna add my garlic. You don't wanna add them in the beginning because all you want them in there for is about a minute to kind of sweat them out. You don't want them to taste bitter. So this is gonna go about eight, maybe 10 minutes at the longest. Mix it with that butter and that bacon grease. It smells good. Mm. Alright, so I've got my onions cooking out for about seven minutes. Now I'm gonna add my garlic, let them cook down. Let them cook down for about a minute. About two sips of beer. Couple sips of beer. Two cups of white rice. I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna stir it in there because I'm trying to remember this is fried rice. I'm kind of trying to toast it. So get it in there, I'll go ahead and turn the salty function off. You want to get that nice and toasted in with that grease. cups of chicken stock. I've got a quarter cup of soy sauce. That's in there. All right, let me get my lid. We're going to set it on the sealed position. Use the manual button or pressure cook button, whatever you have. I'm going to bring it down to six minutes. Six minutes. So, all right, we'll be back. So I did six minutes at high pressure, and then I did a quick release. So I'm going to add in my peas. I've got a cup of frozen peas. I'm going to get those in. Stirring in those heat, that heated rice. Now here's an ingredient I didn't mention before. Sesame oil. I'm gonna add about a about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Yeah, a little more, one more hit. And a little bit of salt. Alright, so get that stir around good just for a few minutes. Gives those, pe those peas time to kind of cook in that residual heat. I didn't want to cook them for the six minutes. I didn't want them to kind of get soft. So, cut those in for a few minutes, add my egg and my uh, bacon back to this, and we'll roll. So, 
I'll show you the finished product in just a few minutes. We'll be back. Here's the finished product, and I'm telling you, it is good. I've topped it with some green onions. Um, so this is a really good fried rice recipe uh, in your Instant Pot. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you all next time.